Iowa health care providers are not happy with the way the state is running Medicaid. New at 6, KCCI chief political reporter Cynthia Fodor has the surprising results of a new statewide survey. Medicaid covers 700,000 poor and disabled Iowans, but it has been under scrutiny since the state switched to a privatized system four years ago. Health care providers have complained about the managed care organizations or MCOs that run this system. Now a new survey by state auditor Rob Sand found many doctors and hospitals are not happy with them. A great number of providers felt um, that the process had become more complex. And obviously that itself suggests that uh, process should be worked to be simplified. The survey found only 6% of providers felt privatization had been beneficial to quality of care. More than half felt it had been negative. Nearly 10% believe privatization had been beneficial to access to care. 54% felt it had been negative. As for hospitals, an overwhelming majority of those responding reported they were dissatisfied with payment for services. It'd be a better system, more efficient for providers who are on the ground, would let them focus more on actually providing care if the state would standardize uh, the reporting system. You may remember in January, the governor withheld $44 million in payments to Iowa Total Care, which had not paid more than 100,000 claims. The CEO has said the company is working to fix their issues. The director of Medicaid, Mike Randall, recently announced he will be stepping down August 14th. Cynthia Fodor, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader. We did contact Iowa Medicaid Director Mike Randall for a response, and he said we value the feedback from all Iowa Medicare Medicaid providers and have continued to implement improvements to our program based directly on their feedback.